Another useful visualization is a pivot table. So I'm going to go to the insert menu above and I'm going to select pivot table. And I'm just going to, uh, it knows that it's my entire table one. It understands that. And I'm going to add it to a new tab at the bottom of my workbook. So I'm going to click on OK. I'm not going to check anything else here. I'm just going to click on OK. And here's what happens. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that data in the spreadsheet and we're going to organize it, kind of drill down a little bit and organize this in a table with some counts for us. So for example, I, I want my rows to be the, the grades. I'm going to take Q1. I'm going to drag it and drop it in the rows. And so these are the uh, grades that occurred in quarter one. And what I'm interested in is I just want to know how many students had those grades. So I'm going to grab column one, which is the student names. I'm going to drop that down into the values. Now, notice right now it says sum of column one. Well, that makes no sense because those are student numbers. So I'm going to click on that little pull down menu, go to the value field settings, and I'm going to select the count. And that tells me is that tells me how many students um, had those grades. There were 11 A's, 11 B's, 11 C's, 11 D's. Now suppose I wanted to add something else to this column. Maybe I wanted to add co uh, quarter two grades. So this tells me that three students had an A in quarter one and had an A in quarter two. And I could also filter those if I wanted to a little bit further, but we'll leave it like that for right now. Let me uh, delete this value. And suppose I wanted to look at, for example, that last quiz on rational functions. I could drag that down into the column right there. If I can drop it there, I did. And those are all of the scores on that quiz. The overall grades for quarter one, and we can see how many there were in each of those columns. So it's another way to organize our data. That's called a pivot table. It may be useful, it may not be. Um, but if you'd like to know more, I can certainly help with that.